This training mission follows the procedures described in the flight the step numbers when provided, even though you can also choose to skip if the cockpit interior is press backspace if you want to perform the interior interior inspection. 2. Emergency speed brake knob normal. The emergency speed brake control is a push-pull knob located at the aft end of the left-hand console and can be used to open or close the speed brakes in the event of an electrical failure or failure of one of the speed brake control valve solenoids. The emergency speed brake control knob is held in the neutral position by a spring and must be pulled up or pushed down to open or close the speed brakes respectively. 4. Oxygen switch on, check flow, then off. When the oxygen switch is turned on, oxygen is delivered from the supply system to the oxygen receptacle located in the oxygen anti-G panel on the left console. Pilot's supply tube is plugged into the receptacle to allow the oxygen to flow to the oxygen mask regulator installed just below the pilot's face mask. AFCS standby switch off. The automatic flight control system is an autopilot system which can maintain heading, altitude, and pitch and bank angles and perform a coordinated turn to a pre-selected heading. When this switch is placed in the off position, all toggle switches on the panel return to the off position. 7. Emergency fuel transfer switch off. In the case of a failure of the transfer pump, the wing fuel switch located on the engine control panel provides for the transfer of fuel by wing tank pressurization. Moving the switch to the Emer trans position allows engine compressor bleed air to pressurize the wing tank. Fuel is then transferred to the fuselage tank through the pressure fueling line. 9. Drop tank switch off. Set the switch to off with the right hand. Radar selector switch off. The AN APG 53 Alpha radar system provides search or mapping capabilities for navigational purposes, two modes of terrain clearance for obstacle avoidance, and air to ground slant range for weapons delivery. Automatic fire control is not provided. Operating controls are provided on the radar control panel at the right console, on a small radar switch panel near the bottom center of the instrument panel, and around the perimeter of the scope mounted in the instrument panel. Thirteen. Manual fuel control lever, emergency off, then normal, guard down. The fuel system incorporates a manually operated fuel shutoff control lever located outboard of the left-hand console. Its emergency off position stops all fuel flow from the fuel system to the engine. A spring-loaded lift-type guard is provided to prevent inadvertent movement of the lever to the emergency off position. To ensure complete fuel shutoff, the control lever must be moved fully aft into the emergency off detent. 19. Master exterior light switch on HOTAS off. The master exterior light switch on the outboard side of the throttle grip controls power to the wing, tail, and fuselage lights. The switch has a forward on position, a center off position, and an aft momentary on position. The master exterior light switch is spring-loaded from the aft to the center position, providing a means of signaling with the exterior lights. 22. Nose wheel steering switch. Check that it is set to normal. This switch is not simulated yet, so it can't be moved. 25. Accelerometer push to reset. An accelerometer with three indicating pointers registers and records positive and negative G-loads. 
One pointer moves in the direction of the G load being applied, while the other two, one for positive G loads and one for negative G loads, follow the indicating pointer to its maximum of travel. The recording pointers remain at their respective maximum positions, providing a record of the maximum G loads encountered. Depressing the push to reset knob allows the pointers to return to their normal, G, position. 26. Airspeed indicator 0 set. A combination airspeed indicator and Mach meter is located on the instrument panel. The airspeed portion of the dial is fixed in position and is calibrated from 80 to 650 knots. The Mach meter scale is a rotating disc marked from 0.5 to 2.9, turning beneath the airspeed dial. Only a portion of the disc can be seen through a cutout in the airspeed dial. Airspeed and corresponding Mach number are indicated simultaneously by a single needle pointer. On the Mach number disc is a movable index which is used to set a Mach reference by depressing and turning a set knob on the lower left hand corner of the instrument case. On the edge of the airspeed dial is an airspeed index pointer which is adjustable through a range of 80 to 145 knots merely by turning the set knob. 27. Vertical Velocity Indicator A vertical velocity indicator reflects the rate of change in atmospheric pressure as the aircraft climbs or descends. This rate of change is represented in 100-foot graduations between 0 and 1,000 feet of ascent or descent and in 500-foot graduations between 1,000 and 6,000 feet. 29. Radar Altimeter Off the APN-141 radar altimeter provides accurate altitude from 0 to 5,000 feet. The indicator dial face is marked in 10-foot increments up to 200 feet, 50-foot increments from 200 to 600 feet, 100-foot increments from 600 to 2,000 feet, and 500-foot increments from 2,000 to 5,000 feet. A control knob on the front of the indicator controls power to the indicator and is used for setting the low limit indexer. On the real aircraft, this knob also provides a push to test feature, but that is not simulated. 30. Emergency stores jettison select switch as desired. This switch provides selection of the external stores to be jettisoned when the emergency stores release handle is pulled. WNG selects the wing stations AL selects all stations. 31. All armament switches should be off. A. Guns. At the ready position, electric power is provided to the twin internal 20mm guns, leaving them ready to fire. Set to safe. B. Bomb arm switch. C. Stations. Select which stations will be released on the next attack. D. Weapon function selector knob used to set the sight according to the following weapon types. Rockets, GM unarmed, spray tank, the A4 could be fitted with an 85 gallon tank for spraying chemical weapons, but this was never used in combat. Labs, low altitude bombing system, bombs and guided missiles, including sidewinders, and computer, which enables the CP741 bombing computer. E. Master arm switch off. All armament circuits are controlled by this switch, with the exception of gun charging and emergency jettisoning of external stores. The master armament switch must be in the on position to energize armament circuits. 42 interior lights control panel as desired. A toggle switch with three positions, bright, dim, and medium, controls the intensity of the red console floodlights. Forty-three. Emergency generator bypass switch 
normal. The emergency generator is carried in a compartment in the lower right-hand side of the forward fuselage. When this generator is released into the airstream, a variable pitch propeller drives the generator at approximately 12,000 RPM to provide power to the primary bus. The emergency generator bypass switch, labeled Normal-Bypass, is located in the right-hand console. If the emergency generator is extended, placing this switch in bypass allows the pilot to return to main generator operation, provided the main generator power has been regained. 53. Exterior Lights Control Panel as Desired The Exterior Lights Control Panel on the right console contains switches for control of the exterior lights. A. Probe Light Off The Air Refueling Probe Light is located on the right hand intake outboard lip. B. Taxi Light Off The taxi light is installed on the right hand main landing gear door. C. Anti-collision beacons set to on. As we will be starting the aircraft soon, the aircraft has two flashing red anti-collision beacons, one mounted on the top of the fuselage and the other mounted on the left main gear strut fairing. D. Fuselage lights set to bright. These are semi-flush white fuselage wing lights located under the leading edge of each wing. E. Navigation lights, wing and tail, set to bright. F. Navigation lights mode, set to steady. The A4E also has angle of attack approach lights mounted in the leading edge of the left wing. The approach light circuit is controlled by the tail hook switch. Press backspace if you want to perform the check steps of the cold start procedure. If you prefer to skip these tests, press space. Starting the engine. The A4E electrical system does not include batteries. Also, there is no APU to provide starting air. Thus, an electrical power supply and a source of starter air are required for ground starting of the engine. 1. External ground power. Connect. Bring up the communications menu with the backslash key. Select F8 ground crew, F2 ground electrical power, Chief, F1, turn on the ground power. Turn power on. Copy. Ground power is now on. 2. Master press to test. Check. Press and hold the master test button to check APC, GEN, angle of attack indicator, laws, wheels, fuel, fire, OBST radar, ladder caution, pilot advisory, armament advisory, radar altimeter, oil low, lights, and circuits. The fuel quantity and liquid oxygen quantity indicators will rotate counterclockwise. The liquid Oxygen warning light will come on as indicator pressure passes through one liter. Three, throttle off. Check that both the virtual aircraft throttle and your real OTAS throttle are set to the off position. Four, engine starter switch depressed to start. When the switch is depressed to start, the starter air supply solenoid valve. Five, at 5% 5 RPM, throttle to IGN by right clicking on it. The ignition switch is actuated by movement of the throttle outboard from the off position into the IGN position. Six, at 15% RPM, throttle to idle. Right click again. This opens a fuel cutoff valve in the fuel control unit providing fuel flow to the engine and allowing it to start. 7. 
Stabilized idle RPM, 56 to 58 percent at 20 degrees C. Light off should occur within 20 seconds after the throttle is moved outboard to start the ignition cycle and is indicated by a rise in EGT after the throttle is moved to the idle position. Normally, the engine should be stabilized at idle RPM within 45 seconds after depressing the engine starting button. 9. External electrical power and starting air disconnect. Bring up the communications menu with the backslash key and select Jeez, F2 turn ground, off the ground crew, power. F2 ground electrical power, Copy. F2 turn power off. Ground power After is now engine off. Light off. If light off is satisfactory and engine speed is stabilized with the throttle at idle, check the following. 1. RPM idle at 56 to 58 percent at 20 degrees C. 2. EGT 200 degrees to 340 degrees C. 3. Fuel boost, light out, on advisories panel. 4. Oil pressure 35 to 50 PSI. 5. Oil quantity indicator, light out. Electronic equipment warm up. The electronic equipment needs to warm up. B. Turn the Doppler navigation radar. 2. UHF switch set to T slash R plus G. The Skyhawk. 3. IFF master switch set to standby. Simulated. 4. TACAN switch set to receive. 5. AFCS set to standby. 7. Press and hold the master test button to check APC, ECM, angle of attack indicator, wheels, labs, laws, IFF, fire, OBST radar, pilot advisory, armament. 9. Fuel quantity check internal external readings. The fuel quantity indicator indicates the total fuel available in pounds multiplied by 1,000. The range of indication is from 0 to 6,400 pounds. A toggle switch labeled Fuel External is located on the instrument panel for checking external fuel load. The switch is spring-loaded to the fuel position where it will display the internal fuel quantity. External fuel quantity will be indicated when the switch is held to the EXT position with a left click until the indicator needs 10. Check oxygen quantity. Take note. Oxygen is supplied by a vacuum bottle liquid oxygen converter mounted in a vented compartment in the aft fuselage section. The bottle contains 10 liters of liquid oxygen when serviced to capacity. It should be noted that although 100% oxygen is used at all times, duration is greater at higher altitudes. 10 liters last 60 hours at 40,000 feet but only seven hours at sea level. Twelve. Standby ADI. Erect off flag not visible. Adjust by left click and hold and then turn the mouse wheel. Navigation computer check. The AN ASN 41 is one of the earliest Doppler navigation computers used in conjunction with the AN-APN-153 Doppler navigation radar. It was used not only on the A4, but also on the A6 and A7. It is a primitive unit that can handle only two waypoints, D1 and D2, plus the present aircraft position. 1. Turn the AN-ASN-41 function selector to test. The computer will do a pre-solve to navigation solution and show it on the navigation displays and on the BDHI, Bearing Distance and Heading Indicator. 2. Turn the BDHI switch to Nav Computer with a right click so that its pointers show data from the navigation computer instead of the TACAN. The test values should be Wind speed indicates 223.6 plus or minus 2.5 
when direction indicates 0914 plus or minus 1.5 degrees. Latitude present position shows south integration. Longitude present position shows east integration. DDHI number two pointer, the one with the double bar, indicates 30 plus or minus one degrees right. EDHI number one pointer, single bar, indication depends on present position and destination data set. Three, print function selector switch knob to standby. Four, turn function selector switch knob to D2. Using the slew knobs, set latitude and longitude destination counters to a destination. If the destination is the starting point, insert present position coordinates. For this training mission, let's set as D2 the coordinates of Gudauta Air Base. 43 degrees 07 minutes north, 40 degrees 34 minutes east. Turn the knobs by left clicking, holding, and then turning the mouse wheel. Yes, it may take two hands to do this. Five. Now turn function selector switch to D1. Using the slew knobs, set latitude and longitude destination counters to the D1 destination. For this example, let's set D1 to Batumi Air Base, 41 degrees 36 minutes north, 41 degrees 36 minutes east. Six, set latitude and longitude of present position on present position counters using push to set knobs. In DCS, these coordinates are already entered. Seven, set magnetic variation with mechanical knobs. Variations are set in degrees and tenths of a degree. For DCS, the values of magnetic variation are six degrees east for Caucasus, 12 degrees east for Nevada, 8 degrees east for Normandy, 1.6 degrees east for Persian Gulf, and 5.1 degrees east for Syria. 8. Set wind direction and velocity. Use climb winds. Note, if the AN-APN-153 Doppler radar is to be used alongside the AN-ASN-41 nav computer, then step eight need not be performed. This function will automatically be computed during flight. Nine, leave function selector knob in standby. Navigation radar check. One, turn selector switch knob to the test position. The memory light should illuminate the ground speed dial should read 121 plus or minus 5 knots, and the drift angle should read 0 plus or minus 2 degrees. 2. Turn selector switch to standby. Prior to takeoff, 16. All flight controllers, free, full travel, and proper movement. Move the control stick left to right and front to back, checking that the control surfaces move accordingly. Move the rudder pedals left and right and confirm that the rudder moves accordingly. Seventeen, check flight devices operation. A, flaps, full open. Check the extension looking at the gauge. Use the HOTAS or the F key. B. Speed brakes open. 
Use the hook to see. Hook down. Click the cockpit lever or use either your HOTAS or the left ALT G key. P. Spoilers up, then cycle with throttle. Spoilers are wing top deployable surfaces used to reduce landing distance. They retract automatically when RPM is over 70% to cater for a bolter trap. Perform the check, extend the spoilers with the engine at idle. Then hold the wheel brakes and increase RPM to 70% to check the automatic retraction. Use the HOTAS. Eighteen. Retract flight devices. A. Flaps set at one half. Check the extension looking at the gauge. Use the HOTAS or the F key. B. Speed brakes closed. Use the HOTAS. C. Hook up. Click on the cockpit lever. D. Spoilers down. Use the HOTAS or S key. Nineteen. Rudder trim. Check and set at zero. Turn the knob while checking the left gauge. 21. Horizontal stabilizer set. Using the trim hat on the HOTAS for shore takeoff, use a 6 degree nose up trim. 22. Aileron, stick centered, check both left and right trim, adjust using the trim hat on the HOTAS. 23. Drop tank pressure on. Fuel transfer from the drop tanks to the integral wing tank and fuselage tank is affected by means of drop tank pressurization. Placing the drop tank pressure transfer switch on the engine control panel in PRESS directs engine compressor bleed air to the drop tanks. Once the tanks are pressurized, the flow of fuel from the drop tanks to the wing tank is controlled by the dual float pilot valve in the wing tank, which stops the transfer of fuel when the wing tank is full or allows it to continue when space is available. 4. Drop tank pressure off. Place the drop tank transfer switch in off and de-energize the drop tank air. 24. Drop tank pressure off. Place the drop tank transfer switch in off and de-energize the drop tank air. 25. Emergency transfer. Check. Emergency transfer of the fuel from the wing tanks to the fuselage tank is possible. The wing fuel switch provides for the transfer of fuel by wing tank pressurization. Moving the switch to the Emer Trans position closes the wing tank pressure and vent valves, allowing engine compressor bleed air to pressurize the wing tank. Fuel is then transferred to the fuselage tank through the pressure fueling line. 2nd this concludes the after engine light off section of the shore cold start procedure. The aircraft is now ready to taxi. You have successfully finished this training mission. The next mission will learn the shore taxi and takeoff procedures. For now, please exit the training by pressing the escape key.